Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So if you clicked on this video, you're obviously wanting to know what happened with my labor and delivery. Did I end up having a successful VBAC or did I have a scheduled C-section on the 24th? What happened? and find out and quickly hurry up so we can introduce you to the baby and tell you his name because he's sitting right beside me so drum roll please I did not go into labor on my own so I did go in on the Friday for a scheduled c-section which you know what I am a little disappointed that I didn't get my successful VBAC but the health and safety of my baby is way more important to me so to have a c-section really wasn't that big of a deal to make sure he was here safe and sound which yeah he is so um yeah I went in on I think it was seven o'clock we had to be there to check in um, we were kind of like an on-call c-section because my doctor wasn't actually scheduled to do c-sections that day but because I she wanted me to have him early and I was very specific that I wanted her and I didn't want to have the other on-call doctor she took time over a day to do the c-section but we didn't have the operating room so we had to wait for the operating room to be available because she wasn't the scheduled doctor to be doing surgeries at that time so yeah we went in got my catheter which is the worst feeling ever I'm going to tell you honestly I got the catheter in and I couldn't wait to get the epidural just because I knew it would numb the feeling of having a catheter not to scare you guys but I hate 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 catheters like once you're in and you've had it for a while you don't feel it anymore but at first it's just an uncomfortable I have to pee feeling and I was crying to Corey about how badly I just wanted to have an epidural which the epidural was another story but either way I think we had to wait for about three hours before finally we were told that we were going to be going into the operating room which was really exciting so of course if you don't know they wheel me into the operating room first and they get Corey to scrub up and they got him to stand outside and then once I was ready they were going to let him in so we were waiting for my doctor to get there and the anesthesiologist was supposed to be giving me my epidural I was not happy with this epidural. I remember with Caden, the epidural did not hurt at all. It didn't bother me. Now I'm probably going to be terrified to have them from now on because it just was not a fun experience. To have an epidural, if you don't know, they make you take a pillow and they make you hunch your back like this. I don't have a very good back. He made me sit, I'm not kidding you, probably for 20 minutes hunched before he even began starting to give me my epidural so my back was killing me by the time he started then he numbed me which is fine that didn't hurt but when he started giving me the epidural he hadn't numbed me enough so i could feel it so of course i jumped and flinched and he's yelling at me telling me not to move and i'm telling him i can feel it so he tries again without numbing me any any more than he already had and I scream again because I could feel it like in my lower leg it was the weirdest feeling but it was so painful so again he yells at me tells me not to move but how can you not move when it's hurting I don't I don't know so finally he goes to numb me some more and then of course I'm not feeling the epidural when he puts it in the third or tries the third time I don't feel it which is fine but at this point my back is hurting so bad and he's telling me that I have to stay hunched over like this but I can't I physically can't my muscles can't hold my back anymore and he's saying he needs to tape me up and all of a sudden I'm feeling the epidural in my legs rush so fast like the numbness in my legs that I start feeling like I'm going to faint and I can't hold my body up and I'm yelling at the nurse that I'm going to faint and the anesthesiologist is yelling at me to stay still and really maybe you shouldn't have put the drugs in me so fast and maybe you shouldn't have had me sitting there for 20 minutes not doing anything hunched over I could have been sat sitting straight and this would have gone fine Anyways, so then he finally, one of the nurses, I guess they get me taped up and they have to lie me down. Now this time, I don't know if it's because I had an emergency C-section with Caden and this baby I didn't. So maybe, and I know what Caden I had eaten, so I don't think they could give me same, some of the same drugs. But with this baby, oh my goodness, I was so gorked out of it, drugged up, like I could barely keep my eyes open. Corey came in. And I remember looking at him and I, he grabbed my hand because of course you're like all strapped down. Once, like, once they lie you down, they strap you down. And I told him, just so you know, I think I'm going to sleep. So can you let me know when he comes out? 
yeah that's a little interesting so I literally sat there with my eyes closed and I slept but I remember it was so hard it felt like it was so heavy and so hard to breathe that I was afraid that I would stop breathing like I've never been in such a deep like kind of awake sleep like I couldn't keep my eyes open but I could hear everything going on so of course they're opening me up and I could not feel a thing I couldn't even like I was so out of it I didn't even really feel her moving around in there like it wasn't the same with Caden I was so much more aware and I was freaking out but this I was so gorked I could barely focus on anything so finally the baby came out and they pulled him out and they said he was healthy and he was seven pounds, one ounce, so smaller but not as small as Caden was by any means. And they wrap him up and they bring him to me and he's just the most adorable, cutest thing ever. And they ask me what his name is and his name is Mackenzie Luke. And I love that name. I just think, ugh, like, it just goes together and I love the name Mackenzie and that his nickname can be Mac and Caden calls him Kenzie. And and the first thing I asked him was, does he have red hair? And let me show you. Let me show you. Oh, he's sleepy. And here is little Mackenzie Luke with his little red hair. And he's sleeping. And he's such a little chubster. He's already gained two pounds since he was born. He's just chunking on the weight. Look how cute he is. Oh, my little baby. But yeah, as you guys can see, I had him. And it was just... It was really amazing and my recovery was actually very very good we got we had him on Friday and we were out Saturday so I did not stay in there at all I was not kidding around I was asking those nurses what do I have to do to get my catheter out and they're like oh you have to walk a lap around the hospital okay done then I asked for my epidural out and then they wouldn't let me have my IV out until I peed twice so I chugged water in order to pee twice so they would let me take the IV out and yeah we were out of there like super quick I was discharged Saturday morning and we just had to wait around for this little guy to get discharged by the pediatrician so yeah it was just like a really quick thing I recovered really really well um, I'm feeling awesome now it's been over six weeks so yeah I'm in the clear for recovery and yeah I just wanted to share you guys him I'm so sorry it took so long but I'm yeah I'm really glad to share I'm with you guys yeah, now. I hope so. you guys liked my little labor and delivery story. And I'm sorry to leave you guys hanging for so long. But I gotta get going because I gotta spend time with my kids. But I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!